later on. Oh, there's the taco. Yep. All right. It's always very fun to see somebody BM the character, the player that I lost to already. Well, I mean, Jerry's played Falco before. He started out as a Falco man. Yeah. Uh, do you know how recently he's played as Falco? Uh, last week against Bobby. <laughs> How'd it go? Pretty well. He, he won one game with Bob, or against Bobby. And then he played, like, Bart and Puck and Fox or something. Okay, so it's, it's still very formidable. I mean, he's off to a fairly solid lead already. Yeah. I, I was early to, to diss his foul tones. Well. I mean, Gary's a very good player, but also this is a Falco Ditto. Um, yeah, a lot of Falcos don't like the Falco Ditto. Uh, I don't know really how either one feels about it. Jerry presumably not too high on it if he switched off with the character. Uh, I think he didn't like Falco for other reasons. Mostly like the overall fragility of the character, but... This is this is just one of those matchups that you can just have fun pushing buttons in. It seems like that's what Jerry wants to do right now. Make sure he's pressing a lot of buttons. Uh, most of this game, I feel like Mimoji's been off stage. It was right there, Mr. Mr. Edgeguard, but it, there's really never been a time where I felt like Mimoji's been on the offensive. Uh, he seems pretty. Okay, so he should be able to get this. There we go. Did not fire salt from the ledge as other players have in this match. And he's able distance. to roll up from the able to roll up from the ledge. I'm surprised Jerry went for that like super long like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what an angle! Okay. So, uh, it's a not going to get definitely anywhere. Yeah. Well, Ming, um, at least I know when I played him, he, he seems to play pretty safe, and you see a lot of the openings he's gotten haven't been huge extended punishes. You see, that was only about three hits, uh, but he's been doing a good job of lasering, and he's just had these back airs from a little bit out of range. Uh, Jerry's not been doing too much to hound it, he's gone for lasers a couple of times, but mingnelli has been pretty content to just stay the course. See another fadeaway back air there, two in a row. You just keep keeps rinsing repeat basically. I mean that'll get you somewhere if you're ahead. I think he needs to step up his point of game a little more. He does, but since the first two stocks it's been a little more in his favor. I mean now it's tied in stocks. And as you mentioned, Falco's a fragile character. Um but we don't really we haven't really seen that he can take a punish and make a stock out of it, so this game doesn't feel as tied as a lot of times it does with Falco's on screen. It's one of the few times where one stock feels like a lead. Oh my god. <laughs> I would say Jerry's the lead right there. If I had to pick one of these two players who was winning, I'd say it's the one who has no stocks. Okay. That was a good one. Ooh, that's we were too quick to just melting. That was that was exactly what he needed to do. And uh No, well, you're not wrong. Yeah, well I, I was wrong about everything I said on the last dog. Oh, that shot is as as, uh, as the uh, game's not on and Magnolia's brought a little bit closer, Jerry's playing a little bit more defensively. Uh, first couple stocks, Jerry uh, Jerry was just kind of running over him, and now he had a uh, kind of fading away back air. Uh, that Magnolia was using a lot, and he kind of shut him down on the last stock. Adaptation, maybe, maybe just giving him more respect as a player. Hi. This Jerry stands. Pokemon. I mean, if he wins, if he just wants, if he just wants to press buttons and have fun, and he wins, no reason to, no reason to go puff on stadium. Play Mark or something. Oh god. Not over yet. Oh. Started off a little reminiscent of the first game. Uh, you know, as Jerry was picking it, picking it up towards the end of the game, he had a pretty big punish to close out game one, and he kind of carried that momentum into game two, uh, building up a pretty solid lead uh, to finish off that stock. Uh, he's actually dropped a few edge guards, so can't take too much for granted here. Let's him back to left again. 
That's a really tough edge guard. It is a tough edge guard to hit, but... Oh, wow. Guess I'm still good arms attack. I think Jerry's just missing it. We've got three forward smash. Always fun to... Always fun to see someone beat someone with nothing around. Good angle. It's pretty hard to hit going down. It's, 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 it's kind of like the the max angle that everyone sees going up when they slide against the ledge. It's a lot scarier when you're going down because if you overshoot that angle, you're just dead instead of landing on the stage. There's another really good angle. Still able to cover it, but Jerry has been getting a lot out of his stocks. What? He's not processing and see what the players are. Next hits? Well, I mean, he clearly wants the up air. He wants the up air. Single hit. There Probably not so much. But he took the stock, which means it was clearly the right decision. Otherwise, he wouldn't have taken the stock. I feel like he had the, uh, had the re-grab on the DI trap, but instead, uh, tries to keep him off stage. Back to the back to the up airs, back to the up tilts. It's, it's kind of a similar situation. It was three stocks and two. Maybe I don't know if Derek got a little lazy uh, game one, but if McNulty's gonna try and like take this game, it probably has to come here, where Jerry feels like he can still afford to do it uh, before he kind of buckles down on last stock like he did last game. Uh, but losing the stock here, that's rough. I take back everything I said about Jerry's angles. Well, I mean, <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> didn't know. Yep. Straight down. I will say, it's been a long time since I've seen somebody go dare. I thought he, I thought he was gonna miss the dare for a second. Well played, Jerry. Um, it's been a long time.